There are only two emotions by which every single emotion that you have generate from. And we're going to talk about that on today and how they impact your brand, growing your business, and your money. Hi, I'm Tanya, the growth strategist certified life and business coach, and I teach business from the inside out. I focus from a three-point perspective, personal growth, business building, and abundance mindset. And I believe when those three things, when you've tapped into those three areas as an entrepreneur, it's only up, right? It's only up from that particular space. And if you are wanting ways to be supported in your business and brand building in your everyday personal life. You're wanting to soar, tap into new spaces of feminine energy, work smarter, not harder, scale your business three to five X your income in your business. That's what my clients are doing over here. And I love, love, love the opportunity to support you. And there will always be information on how to do that either in the comment section or the description se section of wherever you find this particular video. I'm ready to jump right in. So this is actually a continuation of a conversation I was having with a fellow friend who is also an entrepreneur. And I love the fact that I get to have these type of conversations in my everyday life. It's actually fuel <laughs> for me. And while I'm thinking on that line or speaking on that line, this is something I actually wrote down when I was creating my ideal day. Now, creating your ideal day is something that I do with my clients in different arenas, whether it's in the academy or if we are doing an activate session or a thrive session where I'm working with them privately, one-on-one, -on -one, focusing on their vision, their brand, their mission, all the good things. And we'll go through this exercise where they, they will create their ideal day. And a part of that exercise, you're literally writing out what would your ideal day be like for you. And for me, and I wrote this maybe about six years ago now, that having amazing conversations that were wholesome and fulfilling and that ignited sparks within me and that resonated would be a part of an ideal day for me. And, you know, I'm actually living that. There are a few other things that I put on that ideal day list that, you know, just are in alignment. But I love the fact that I get to have these conversations in my everyday life, as well as having them with you. And so we were talking about how every single emotion that you have is generated from one of two emotions, right? Whether you're angry, happy, upset, um, afraid, whatever. It's coming from two emotions. And those emotions are the emotion of fear or the emotion of love. And they create an energy that is transferable because we're talking about your brand, your energy, and your money. And so I want to talk about how those things are aligned when you're making decisions in your business and in your brand, you are making them based on one of two emotions, right? You're either making decisions from a space of fear or you're making them from a space of love. And all of that energy is creating your brand. It's creating how the marketplace sees you. Now, when we get into your money, and how your energy is tied into that as well, money has an energy, 
right? Just like your brand has an energy, money has an energy. And the energy of your brand is often in alignment with how you're charging for your services and products. Y'all got to stay with me, okay? Now, how you're charging for many people, whether they are aware of it or not, is coming from a space of fear, hear me when I tell you, or love, right? It's coming from a space of fear or love. If you're afraid that no one's going to purchase any products from you, you're probably not going to charge premium pricing. You're probably not going to charge the actual value of the services you offer. Now, I'm not saying this from a space of I've completely gotten rid of all of my money blocks, but I've done extensive work on my money blocks. What I do understand is for each new level that we desire to go to as it relates to earning more money, calling more money in, I don't even want to say earning, calling more money in, creating things that attract money at that level for each new level that we desire, yeah, we got to go uncover some blocks and some limiting beliefs. But I have done extensive work and I know when I moved from a thousand dollars being the highest product pricing that I had for my services and products to 6,000 to 15K to actually having a client pay me six figures, one client, right? Every single time there was an energy that I was existing in. And I think I shared in one of my recent talks as I was uh, conversing with one of my clients behind the scene, they asked me about these different income level ranges. And I shared with them when I first had a $15,000 client, I didn't have the energy to hold that. I had the energy to call it in, but not the energy to hold it. So I won't go off into capacity and being able to hold different things because my goal for this particular conversation that we're having is so that you can see that the energy of your brand, what the marketplace is seeing and feeling is often in align alignment with how you're charging for your products and services. Do you know there are some people who have looked at your offer, very interested, but when they saw the price, they begin to wonder. And what I mean by that is not because it was too expensive, but because it was inexpensive. And in their mind, they said, well, I wonder what type of value I would get for this at this particular price. So I just want you all to bring me your mind here and let you know that your brand has an energy. A lot of it is in alignment with your pricing uh, of your services and your products. And listen, there is no right or wrong pricing standard or guideline per se. It's, it's not right or wrong, right? It's not that one, um, you can go to this physical checklist to see if your pricing is in alignment. No, that's that's not how this works. Um, what others are charging is not even your ceiling, your floor, or where you should scale to. It's really energetic, right? It's really being able to charge based on your value and then have those people who are in alignment be in agreement and come in to be supported by you clicking that buy button, clicking that investment button, clicking the button to be able to get on a call with you to see if they are a fit for what it is that you're offering. Where you don't have to hide on your website that it is a premium offer because the people who are in alignment are not going to be afraid or they're going to be energetically aligned where they're willing to move past the fear and do it anyway because they understand the value that they're going to receive from the products and services. So some people charge low prices and it completely works for their brand and their business. There are Walmarts and dollar stores 
and things of that nature that are making money. There are massage companies that have, I don't even know, $40, $50 massages. And then there are those who have massages that are a few hundred dollars to get a massage. So pricing is not this thing that has to be one way or the other, but let's go to some built some businesses or brands charging really low pr prices and it completely working for them. And then another owner could charge those same low prices and feel drained or even feel resentful to the people who are coming in for the services. That's because energetically that price point does not align with them what they offer or the clients they desire to serve. I hope this is making sense for you guys, right? So, so much of your brand is about alignment, but how you align is attached to you understanding who you are as a brand. And you would be completely shocked to know how many people don't really understand who they are as a brand. They, they don't. They're just doing, right? They're just doing and being and don't understand the fullness of that. And so they don't know how to get in alignment with pricing and even daily operations that really work for who they are as a brand. Listen, it happens. And even people who once knew who they were as a brand, over time, you can lose sight of some of your brand's internal workings that make you flow and soar and excel, expand and impact the way that only you can do. Sometimes you can lose sight of that along the journey, right? It's important to understand that your energy, which is really attached to what's going on on the inside of you, it's so huge, whether it's creating fear or love, right? And so many things in our daily life roll over into our business. And when we as entrepreneurs, when you as an entrepreneur or a business owner begin to understand as within, so without, when you begin to understand that behind the scenes, what's going on from a cellular level inside of you is impacting the flow of your money and your business and your fulfillment and your joy and your peace. All of the things that are going on internally inside of you, when you understand that from a cellular level, a huge part of your process becomes your inner work, how you see yourself, how you allow situations to impact you because we can have things that transpire in our life that creates fear. What I mean by that is it creates a space where we don't trust anything, right? When you don't trust, it's, it's operating from a space of fear. Did you know that all of that is also scarcity and lack? So, so much that I could say about that. I pray that this message on today resonated on the inside of you, that it encouraged you to go a little deeper <laughs> in your brand building process. For those of you who, if you are desiring another level of support, there are many ways that I can support you. Uh, there are links and descriptions in the description box or wherever you may find this video of either private opportunities to work with me or my amazing Academy, 3D Success Academy for Women in Business. Either way, I operate my business from a space of viewing things holistically and we do business from the inside out as within, so without. And all 2025, our theme is about renewing your brand and rebranding your life. Renewing your brand and rebranding your life. And I'm going to do a, I'm going to have a conversation with you on what that means to renew your brand and not rebrand your brand because there's a difference. And so I'll leave you with this thought. If you had to look at how you are running your business and your brand at this current time, would you say that you're basing your decisions from a 
place of fear or from a place of love. That's my take on today. Your energy, your money, and your brand. Peace and abundance.